and just waiting for me to leave office so they can put somebody else's project ahead of mine? I'm not the only one in this room that know James Road was never on the list. It just came out of the, out of the blue. We, we, we hoping Mass Pro come here, so let's, let's put James Road out there. Like I say, not to harp on the past, but it is what it is. I assure you all, if I have to, I'll stay in office as long as it takes to complete some of the projects that I'm um, pursuing on behalf of the citizens. Because when I campaigned, I went door to door. Unlike a lot of my other predecessors and other people ran for office, I went door to door and I asked people what they were like to see in Lyons County. This is before I told them I was even running for office. This is before I asked them to vote for me. I asked them what did they want in Lyons County. And these are things that they said. So, you know, when we were looking at the slide seven list, which is coming out, and I highly suggest you all support it, uh, I brought up issues and concerns of the people. You know, from dirt roads, paving roads, recreation facilities, why? Because people want something the kids to do. Others want the roads paved, but while I'm on the paved road deal, if your road ha has not been paved, please check with some of your neighbors because I went down some of the roads that have been requested and you got about five, six people on that, those same roads who do not want the roads paved. So if your road isn't paved, it's probably because you have some people on the road that don't want to make pavement. That's a new thing to me. I didn't expect that when I had problems, to be honest with you. So, but at some point, we're going to have to make tough decisions. Why? Because you got school buses going down those roads and other people, kids, are riding those buses that are going off into the ditch. We're paying thousands and thousands of dollars a year to grade a road, bring in dirt to pack it down, clean the ditches, to come back the following month to do it again. These are just things you kind of need to think about. Uh, the neighbor, we talked to, y'all saw some of the lists. I'm interested in the, uh, the boat ramp and things like that, community centers, um, some of the uh, road widening projects and so forth. Um, GDOT has really, really been very friendly to me. You know, I've worked with them over the years. Um, and I don't know where this is gonna go, but for the most part, you know, the Venus and um, Fire Street uh, intersection. I know they have a flasher there now, but they did tell me they were, see if I put the traffic light there, if the county elected to have look at any type of widening on the north part of Far Street. Um, so, you know, I naturally said, well, let's at least put a turning lane there. You got Dewar Elementary School there, you got GMC there, you got three churches there, you got all kinds of subdivisions back there. Hey, a lot cheaper than James Road was. So, you know, I'm just a practical thinker. Um, with that being said, those who were not at the military rate hearing, um, they, they presented a possible rollback uh, to the commission, uh, meaning that it was some type of shortage, but however, we chose to, to take a harder road. And in essence, we lowered our minutes rate in the county. Um, it was 9.56, now it's 9.553. So, something to think about. Lastly, I just hope that you know, we get more public engagement as we go forward, because everybody does not travel the same road as you do. I know if I didn't, I know others don't. And I work in traffic. I put up the traffic lights. I do the timings and so forth. And I had a, a wide awakening going to different areas I don't normally go. And therefore, you, know, you can get a, a better perspective of things, because more importantly, I have to answer to the citizens. Anybody have any questions? We to appreciate everything. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Marks of service for our community. He, he asks a lot of questions. I'm a question kind of girl. I really appreciate the questions that he asks of our county staff um, and of the other commissioners. Uh, as Dr. Marks said, he, oh, no, let's back up a little bit. Uh, Amanda. Hi. <laughs> uh, Amanda Hall, our Mass Pro chairman is here, and I would like to call her just to, so you can see her face and keep reminding who she is. Come on, Amanda, come up here. Hello everyone, don't need to introduce yourself. Well, you said whatever you need to say. Um, I'm Amanda Hall, I am the membership chair. I met a lot of y'all two months ago, I guess we had the barbecue last month. 
but we're getting the membership list updated and I'm going to start doing some um, going after some of the members from years before getting them re-recruited back in so we can get everybody card carrying members of the local Democratic Party so if anybody here needs to renew their membership you can see me after the meeting we'll get that done and we'll get your card to you okay all right thank you Question. How many members do we have? Um, I have on oh, this back here. I wanted to go back and see. Um, I looked back in 2008, which was a really hot year to be a Democrat, and we had 70, and we're less than that. We're about half that. So. My goal is to get us back up to the um, 2008 number and then go to the number somebody pays his or her dues. Correct. Yes. $25 for an individual and $40 for a family and $15 for a student. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and like I said, if, if you feel like giving that 52 in honor of 52 weeks and the 52nd birthday of our president, we would take $52. Pretty good. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Amanda. Amanda um, had her first chance to be out, uh, like I said, on Saturday in registering voters, and we had a fine, fine time. And you can see some photos from that on uh, the Facebook page. So the Long County Democrats do have quite a, we have more than 100 people following us on Facebook um, and, and keeping in touch with us that way. Uh, as Dr. Mark said, qualifying is August the 26th to the 30th. Um, if you think of somebody that you know would be good in a position, please encourage them to run. Our next regular meeting will not be on the first Monday of September because that is Labor Day. We will meet on the second Monday, which is the 9th. And I expect at that meeting that all, um, when the candidates qualify, they'll get a letter from the Democratic Party saying, um, please come and visit us, talk to us, talk to our membership about your candidacy. They're nonpartisan races, all of these races. Um, we're um, interested in hearing from all of the candidates. Also, Mayor Gale, um, he wanted to address us in June and then he couldn't, so I expect that he will be here at our um, September meeting and I think he's probably going to talk to us about the SPLOS. Um, the SPLOS is really, I uh, just heard the chairman talk about it the other day. We get 52% of the money from the SPLOS comes from people who don't live in our county. Well, hot diggity dog, I'm happy to spend somebody else's money. Um, so vote for that and we'll get our money from all the people who drive down 75, stop here in a hotel, eat in our restaurants, shop at our mall. On the other hand, um, I'm okay maybe with the raising of the millage rate if it will buy something that will collectively help our community. I don't have a problem with that. So um, we're all in this together, we're all one community and if everybody pitches in then it can be good for everybody. Like I said, we'll have a voter registration at South River Pride, September 21st. Our October speaker will be Matt Martin, who is the city planner. He's going to talk to us about um, planning in general, how planning happens in Valdosta, the planning commissions on the Board of Appeals, that kind of stuff. Is there any other business that I have neglected? Uh, thank you very much for coming. I will see you September the 9th, if not before.